In the eastern half of the country, there are many kinds of small salamanders, only a few inches long, that have taken one further step away from the aquatic life. In spring, the woodlands are drenched in rain, and suddenly, in response, an amphibian army appears among the leaf litter. Marbled salamanders. First to emerge are the males. They're in search of females. They have spent the winter deep in the damp leaf litter, breathing by absorbing oxygen from the air through their moist skins. For them, the land is truly home. If they were submerged in water for any length of time, they might well drown. Nonetheless, their courtship techniques are much the same as those used in water by newts. The males produce pheromones that excite the females. They deposit capsules of sperm on the damp ground. And the females crawl over them and take them in. In due course, each female lays her soft-skinned eggs on the ground and stays beside them on guard. Here, it's damp enough to prevent her eggs from drying and they're already developing rapidly. Eventually, the continuing rains flood the woodland floor. But now, the female's needs and those of her eggs are exactly opposite. They will need water in order to breathe, but she could drown in it, so she has to leave. The young inside their capsules are developing into creatures fundamentally different from their parents, a form that is characteristic of amphibians. They are becoming tadpoles. They swim free, equipped with feathery gills that enable them to extract oxygen from the water. They are truly aquatic creatures. But they have front legs as well as gills. And within days, they develop back legs as well. As time passes, they grow stronger. Their gills wither and disappear, and at last, they're miniature versions of their parents and are ready to leave the water forever and to start on their land-living lives. <laughs> 